Your Worship, Council Members. On May 24th, 8, 10 a.m., I kissed my wife goodbye for the last time. I said I love you for the last time as she rode away to her school. I miss her. It really hurts and I am angry. Imagine for a second the beautiful faces you said goodbye to this morning. Now imagine that that was the last moment you got to spend with them. It was the last time you'd ever see them. That's my reality now. On May 24th, 2023, Natasha Fox was killed while riding her bicycle with her two sons. Natasha was a daughter, a sister, a mother, a wife, a friend, a world-class athlete that represented Saskatoon, a coach, a teacher, Saskatoon's best teacher. Everyone is feeling this loss. This is Saskatoon's loss. It's a loss and a trauma which could have been avoided with better decisions made in this room. I'm here today not because I want to be. I'm here because I feel I need to be. I'm here to make sure that you damn well know we can do better. She deserves better. Natasha died at an intersection that was known to be problematic for 10 years, and you voted, and you deferred. Natasha's death was witnessed by her two sons. NASA asks, why did Ma die? And I tell him it was an accident. What kills me is one day I have to tell him and explain to him that it could have been prevented. People knew and didn't do anything. Council, your decisions have real life consequences. Avoiding decisions, deferring decisions, tabling decisions, those decisions have consequences. We, Saskatoon, my children, need you to make better decisions. This is about so much more than money or votes. It's about making a community safe and livable for everyone, not just cars. Had council acted then, Natasha would be alive today. I'm sure of that. This is about Stacy and NASA who no longer have a mother. This is about every boy and girl learning to ride a bike. This is about your kids. This is about your grandkids being safe in their city. This is about everyone who has been hurt and will be hurt if we don't do anything. The city knew there was a chance somebody might be seriously injured in that intersection. And now Natasha is dead. The, the, the city chose not to address it. Natasha was 115 pounds, and Saskatoon told her to share the road as an equal with a 66,000 pound cement truck while keeping her children safe. She kept them safe. What if someone else in the city is hurt at an intersection crossing a road that we know is problematic? Is that not negligence now? How can we, how can you live with yourselves knowing that? How do we look Stacy and NASA in the eye and say we're doing our best? Amazing cities have amazing infrastructure for all not just cars. They are communities where people are proud to be part of them, to move to them, to call them their home. Every dollar spent on safe, welcoming spaces, roads, and bike lanes, those dollars pay dividends. Those dollars save lives. We all know this. Cycling is equitable, it's inclusive, it's green, it's healthy, and it's fun, and it should be fun. It's part of what makes great cities great. These motions put forth today are meaningless to me now. They won't bring her back. They won't stop the pain or anger I feel. They won't bring back Stacy's or NASA's mother. 
but we have to start somewhere. And you have to do something and you have to do it now. These motions put forth today could be the start. Something that will make the city better, safer, and for that I support them. I would like to thank everyone who sent in letters in support of this. I would like to thank everyone who will be speaking after me to support these motions. Thank you. Natasha, I love you. We love you. We're trying and we missed you.